Hello, hello everybody. This is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. Today we're going to put together an arrangement for a baby girl, but she wants kind of autumn tones um, with some soft pinks added in. And so that's what we're going to work on. We're starting out with a cube vase. This cube actually has fresh water with a little bit of flower food. Um, but instead of gritting my container, I'm going to show you a trick that you can do if you happen to have any um, chicken wire on hand. So I'm going to take this chicken wire and I'm going to take my wire snips and I am going to, um, I'm going to cut it in half because it doesn't take very much but I'm going to need a grid to keep my flowers from falling out. So I've cut it into like a little square and then I'm going to roll it making sure that I put the points right down into my container. So I've just set it kind of right on top, just like that. And I'm gonna tape it down with some waterproof tape. If it will stick for me today. I may struggle with it sticking. main thing is, is I don't want it to fall in. I want it to stay on top of the base and because I don't necessarily want the chicken wire to be seen. Okay? So I'm setting that on top and I am going to tear that off and throw that little piece away. And sometimes things are trial and error. Okay? But what this is going to do is give us a grid to hold our flowers in place. And I'm just taking, and I took my waterproof tape and I just came across. And then I'm gonna go around the edge. To hold that tape in place. Which I could have just grid the thing with as much tape as I just used. But you know that it's just <laughs> trial and error. Okay, so I have a grid with my chicken wire right there on top. I'm gonna pull my balloon out of my way. Next, what I'm going to do is come in with a little bit of pittosporum as my foliage. So the wonderful part about pit is that it has little florets of foliage. So here's a floret and then here's one down here. I'm gonna take and pop that, tuck that right into my grid and I'm gonna take that bottom little floret, grab my floral knife, and I'm gonna tuck that right down in. So you get to use, it goes in in lots of different pieces, so it works out really great at being able to spread it out throughout your arrangement. Nestle that right down in. And you see how this grid is holding this foliage from falling down into the container. All right, so there is our pittosporum. Um, next, we are going to come in with, we've got a beautiful Firewalker Sunflower. So we're gonna nestle him kind of right into the center, kind of right there. And then we've got some um, mauve colored stock because we wanted our baby girl colors. So we're gonna tuck a little bit of that in. And what that grid is doing, what that chicken wire is doing is just helping to keep these flowers from kind of flopping. It's holding them into place so that they're not, they're not shaking back and forth. I'm gonna turn my arrangement around. Back here on the back side, I'm gonna take this Red Rover Mom. Gonna nestle him right in. And then these are just a, um, I don't even know the name of these moms, but they're such a pretty peachy pinky color. And I have three of those, so we're gonna nestle those in. 
So we're doing kind of a low compact arrangement. All right, next we have some really pretty orange spray roses to give us that beautiful orange of the fall. And it kind of brightens the arrangement up a little bit, so it's not quite such muted tones. I love that bright orange. It really, I don't know, it's something about, it just livens up the arrangement, I think. Nestle those in. We also have some beautiful maroon hypericum berries. So I'm going to strip that foliage, cut that stem at an angle. those berries in. We're going to give us some height here with a little bit of, um, we've got some millet that we're going to use. So we've got a little bit of fun millet. So we'll give it some height, but next we're going to come in with our yellow wax flower. So wax flower does not naturally come yellow. It's a dyed material, but I love it. It makes me happy. And so I'm just working it right down into that grid and you see how that grid's holding everything right in place. Holding it all right in place without any problems. I have always found that if the mouth of the container is too wide, what happens is your flowers want to kind of topple out especially in delivery. Now, it would be one thing if you weren't delivering it, like if you're making this arrangement at home, you don't necessarily have to have this grid. But if it's going to go to someone and you have to put it in a delivery truck and have it delivered, and then it's handed off and it's just moved a whole lot, it's always good to make sure it's well put together. It's not gonna go anywhere. All right, and the last thing we're gonna add is a little bit of whimsy with our little millet. I actually, um, Robbie, my sister, actually cut this. Um, she has, they live out in the country, and so they have like a big open field. And so they have lots of different types of grasses that are um, putting off the seed. And so we call it a type of millet is what it's called. My nose is itching, I'm sorry. But I love that it gives such whimsy to an arrangement. So if you have a place that you see grasses growing or um, anything that looks like it would be fun, go ahead and cut it. See if it'll hold up in your flower arrangement. Um, I think it's always a great idea to use that foliage that didn't cost you anything. Have fun with it. Be creative. Okay, so there's our millet, but there is our finished fall arrangement for a baby girl. Now, because this was for a baby girl, and I have a pink balloon, so it's a, a fun pink baby girl balloon, I thought I might add a little bit of pink ribbon, but just a touch, like nothing, like two or three loops, nothing big. So I have just a little bit of soft pink ribbon that's wired. And I mean, when I tell you I'm gonna do two loops, it's just two little loops of ribbon. And if we don't like it, we can always pull it off. So I'm just gonna take that ribbon. I just made two simple loops. I'm gonna put a wire on it. 
And I'm gonna just take a stem from one of the um, from one of the berries. And I'm going to wrap that wire right around that stem. And I'm gonna nestle it right there in front of that little sunflower. And what that's going to do is it's going to help me cover up the tape and the wire. But there is our little added pink bow to make this a baby girl arrangement. Then what we will do is we will take our balloon and we will just tie the balloon right around the vase. We will tuck a tag in this little arrangement and it will be delivered right over to the hospital for sweet baby girl welcoming her. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon. If you have any questions about how we put this arrangement together or any questions about the flower shop overall, you know you can certainly ask that in the comments. Um, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not already subscribed to our flat, our YouTube channel, my math wouldn't work, be sure to um, hit that little subscribe button. And if you'll hit that little bell, it will give you a notification um, that we are, ha that we have a brand new video. Do me a favor also and give us a thumbs up. Let people, let us know if you like these videos. We would appreciate it. Have a great day and we'll see you soon. Want to redo that outro? Sure. <laughs> Here's all Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon. If you have any questions about how we did things, or we do things here, or this arrangement, or any of the things, please don't hesitate to ask that in the comments below. We're so happy to answer. Um, if you have not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell and it will give you notifications for when we have a new video. Also, do me a great big favor give this video a thumbs up so that we know you like them. Guys, have a great day and we'll see you real soon.